So this is the cloning hood where we do all of our uh, work. That's sterile. This is a sterile hood. Before using it, we should wipe this down. 70% ethanol. You never know who the last person was that used it, but this is a nice spray. So we'll spray down the before we even begin, so we know that it's clean. Because there are media spots on here. You can see that they haven't quite been cleaned off, but if at least the surface isn't sterilized, that represents particularly E. coli maybe in that media and uh, may contaminate our plates and we don't want that to happen. So we want to keep everything as clean as possible. Now, we have, this is um, some media that is, does not have auger in it. We need to make some media that has auger in it so that it's, it'll form bacteria petri plates. Bacteria petri plates, or our culture plates are stored in this fridge. And we want to generate something like this, that's a hard auger that we can grow out our uh, E. coli on. So now I have 10 Petri plates here. This is a sleeve of Petri plates. 10 have been used already. Um, it's been used incorrectly, and I'm showing you a bad example here. Um, what happened was someone ripped open the top, which is fine, you got to get at them somehow, right? But they ripped it all the way down to here. The problem is, is that the 10 that were used originally, that's fine, they were fine, but then these have sat up on the counter for I don't know how many weeks, right? And they could have been contaminated because it wasn't closed. Often, so ideally you'll open a slit here at the top and then squeeze out, kind of like a tube of toothpaste, right? And you squeeze out the ones, the number of plates you need from the bottom. And uh, sometimes you use a whole liter, a whole liter will pour all the plates in one sleeve. We only have half a liter, so we have about half a sleeve here. Now the other thing about this, let's get these out, is that the plates are, first they're upside down, and that's good. It's just the way that we normally handle them. The bacteria, when, you, when we incubate them, we'll put the plates upside down. And we'll also do all of our writing and annotation on the, on the bottom, if you will. Sometimes if it's cut nicely, then you can reuse the sleeve as a container and tape the top. Um, now every one of these plates that I'm pouring, I need to put my name on them, the class or project that I'm doing it, and also the date. And so those three things are important to have on every plate. Every so often we go through the fridge and we'll throw away plates that are not labeled, and plates that are expired more than you know six weeks or so, because the bacteria on them really aren't that good anymore anyway, and usually people have got off what they need after that amount of time. So. The other thing to check is that um, we need to pour the media when it's not too hot or not too cold. And right now we do not have, we only have uh, the media in here. It's starting to set. The way to check the temperature is with our little digital thermometer. Now, uh, this is a laser thermometer, so be careful not, because it will bounce. The laser bounces off these uh, stainless steel sides, so try not to shine it in your eyes. But I, it, it does a fairly good job. So this is now at 46 degrees Celsius, right? Right at about 30 or so, it'll start to set up. So I need to get my um, IPTG XGAL and my uh, ampicillin in there before it gets too late. And now is a good time to do that. It's at 43. It's going to start setting up soon. So we better uh, put the ampicillin in it. Now this is this I know is half a liter. It's 500 milliliters. So for half a liter, we need to put in half a mil, half a milliliter of ampicillin. The ampicillin is at 10 milligrams per mil, milliliters. Let's swirl that around and get it well mixed. Okay. Um, generally, what we're going to do as a class is put the ampicillin in now, let it cool, let the plates harden a little bit, and then we'll put the IPTG and XGAL on top of that and spread it. So we're just surface treating the plates with those two uh, reagents for the screening process. 
Now, if you look closely here, the plates are up, upside down. In general, you want to have about 20 milliliters per plate and fill it up. I'm being generous here because I know we've got more media than, than we need. Okay. It's better to start on the bottom. So I'm just looking at the side of the plate and I want to have it about halfway full. And you notice that I have put bubbles in this as I was shaking it. Those bubbles can be confused for colonies later on. So it's nice not to have bubbles in the media when you're pouring it. And I'll show you a trick how to get rid of it. It's, it doesn't have to be this full. Although you do run into problems if the media is too thin on the plate. You want to make sure you've got ample media in there. What happens is it ends up drying out too quickly in the refrigerator and you don't have good bacterial growth. So one thing you can do to get the, the bubbles away, we're starting this lighter here. Um, what you can do occasionally is if you have a long enough hose, you can run the flame just on the liquid media and it'll pop all those bubbles. And then, you want, then you'll have a smooth surface so you don't have the bubbles confused with E. coli. Ideally, because I want them to cool, I'm spreading them out a little bit. I just have to be careful, otherwise I just end up making a mess. But I'm going to put them two to three deep. And we'll let them sit for 20, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, let them, let them cool like this. Um, and then they'll harden a little bit and we'll put on the X gallon IPTG. The bacteria will grow best when the media is, or when the plates are pre-warmed. So we're going to stick them back after they've hardened. We'll stick them in the growth in the uh, incubator for a little bit before we put this actually put the cells on there, and it won't shock the bacteria. If you take plates, cold plates, right out of the fridge, put bacteria on it, you'll shock the cells, and you won't have very good growth results coming out of it. So.